Good morning. Do you guys want to know what the single best piece of equipment you can get for your home gym that takes up the least amount of space but will give you huge results? Let me show it to you. This is my baby Lorraine. She's a kettlebell. She's very mean sometimes. Welcome to this kettlebell workout for beginners. This workout is for men, women, but it'll work your full body. Stay tuned. My name is Andrew Bullock for Big T's Fitness. I want to first by start by thanking you for coming to my channel where we focus on health, fitness, and your overall lifestyle. I know that this channel will have a lot of great information for you. This video will help you start your fitness journey with the simplest amount of equipment, one kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, that's all right. This will work for dumbbells too. If you're looking for a kettlebell, I'll be sure to leave a link below for you to be able to check out the one that I recommend. I have two, I have a 35 and a 60 pound kettlebell. They're great all around workouts. I bring them on my vacations with me and they're easy to store. I wanna thank you once again for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe down below and hit that notification button so you stay up to date on all of my videos because this is gonna be a three video series on kettlebell workouts for beginners. It's a great place for everyone to start working out. And now be sure to stay tuned till the very end of the video because I'm going to give you a secret movement that will blow your mind. All right, now the flavor of this workout for today is Tabata. This is named after Dr. Izumi Tabata. He was a Japanese physician who found out that your metabolism and heart rate both increase dramatically with interval training. So what is Tabata? Tabata is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. And that is what we're gonna be doing with the kettlebell today. We're only gonna be doing two different movements. So this is gonna be great for any athletic ability. If you're just starting, if today's your first day, first of all, awesome. That's always great to be with somebody on their very first day of their workout. And as always, since we're gonna be using a lot of different muscle groups, make sure to do a proper warm up. If you don't know how to do a proper warm up, I'm gonna put a link video card up here of my full body warm up that takes no equipment and is really, really fast. Be sure to do that before you work out ever to cut down on your injuries that you can sustain. All right, so the first movement we're gonna be doing with Lorraine here is a kettlebell swing. So it's literally just like it sounds. We're swinging it up to shoulder height. That's all we're doing. But the problem with a lot of people is they'll do this crap. So I'll turn to the side so you can see me. Don't look at my butt. But they'll do this. So it's all your lower back. You see how my legs are not moving. They're staying about the same angle. They're not doing anything. Anything to help drive this weight up to shoulder height. So what you want to do is you want to keep your back relatively straight and go down, bend your knees, push your butt out. And as you come forward, I want you to drive your hip straight forward. And I want you to squeeze, squeeze those glutes right at the top. Okay. And that'll help get this weight up to shoulder height and no problem whatsoever. Now, I want you to practice that. I want you to do it a couple of times. Go through those motions, get used to feeling those muscles engage. Um, excuse me, but didn't you say there was a secret movement you were gonna give us? Excuse me. Why, yes I did, my fair citizen. Stay tuned, thank you. Now, we've already gone over the kettlebell swing, how we have to engage the hip, glutes, back, core, everything. It is a great full body workout with a kettlebell. It's awesome. But the one little twi twist you can do to this workout to make it different, you do the front rack position for a squat and you're literally just gonna do a squat. But the one thing, the little secret twist I was gonna tell you about do it one-sided. If you do it on one side and do a squat, first of all, you're gonna engage this leg 10 times more. 
Secondly, you're going to have to engage this side of your abs that much more. And it is a crazy amount of difference from doing it one-sided versus doing it in a front rack position. All right, all right, that's all the secrets I'm gonna give you for today. Be sure to stay tuned for later videos. But now, let's get into the workout. That's all you need, baby. One kettlebell. That's it. I told you, this Lorraine, Lorraine's evil. She's mean. But she will get you that physique that you want. Do you know what I mean? So, I hope you found a lot of value in this video. Make sure you subscribe. Check out those kettlebells below. I know you'll be happy you did. Come with me on this journey. 
Stay tuned for more kettlebell workouts. Peace. Mm -hmm.